Today, I'm very excited that we're being joined by Sue Soulier, who is our rental coordinator. She is not only a colleague, but a great friend. With that, I would like to turn it over to Sue. Thank you again for joining us today for our webinar covering all of the items that we offer from the Teledynesco Rental Department. I am Sue, the rental coordinator and main contact here. In today's webinar, we are going to cover why you might want to rent over purchase, what items we have available for rent, who to contact here for quotes and rental requests, and four, we're gonna go over some of the items involved in signing off on the rental contract. Let's look at some of the options why renting might be your best option. Two of the main options here, one being large flow studies. You might need to rent a large number of units or need a large number of units and you don't have the inventory that you need. We've got you covered on that. We've got large numbers of flow meters and samplers available to cover you. Along with um, the inventory that we have, you won't have the worry of the maintenance involved in owning large numbers of units. If you have any, any uh, breakdowns or a unit failure during your rental, we're gonna overnight you a replacement within 24 hours of that happening. Another option, for rentals, a uh, popular option for rentals is short-term one-time studies. Of course, um, the savings on a short-term rental versus purchase is huge. So a lot of people that maybe just have a one week long rental prefer just to rent and not buy. Along with that, you don't need to wait for the long lead times that might be coming from the factory, a lot of times it's two to three week lead time before you can get something. And again, we can ship within 24 hours after receipt of your order, typically on a rental. These are some of the types of studies that we more commonly see for rentals. I'm gonna hand the mic over to Jeff Van de Hoff from our environmental products support support department at this time and he's going to explain to you what a few of these studies entail and how our rentals might be utilized in these types of projects. So some of the typical studies we see are our I and I studies. Um, I and I studies are, are mainly looking for like water infiltration into like your sewer pipes and everything like that. Uh, most people have our flow meters uh, in the pipes layer. They're looking for either a rise in level that's not normal normal during like a, a rain event, um, or a lot of people, what they do is they look for a temperature change. Uh, a high temperature or a, a temperature actually lowering means that you're probably getting rainwater into your systems. They don't know where the infiltration is happening, so they'll put sensors upstream, sensors downstream. They put them all over the place, and they look for these temperature changes or level rises, you know, during during rainstorms. Uh, a different one is like an overflow surcharge uh, detection. Uh, you can put our sensors in there, samplers in there. Hey, when I get, uh, when the man, the levels that are in these manholes get uh, really high, uh, that can trigger the sampler and say, hey, take samples so we can see what the water is coming in these surcharge detection systems. Um, or just basically any type of overloads. Uh, whenever the level hits these certain points, then we can actually start sampling, measuring flow, you know, when these overflow type conditions are met. Uh, storm watering sampler is pretty uh, simple. Uh, you can do either flow monitoring or you can do sampling for storm water uh, modeling. Uh, we have rain gauges that we can hook up and, and rent. We have different types of water sensors that says, oh, hey, I have a rain event. I have water going through here. I want to start sampling. I want to start measuring the flow uh, at that. And that's, that's storm water sampling, basically just waiting for a rain event. Uh, Wastewater-based uh, surveillance, uh, you can do that like in process, like, you know, what's happening at this process? Am I getting all my solids out of my, you know, wastewater? Uh, people can do it in their uh, own businesses and stuff like that to sample at different points in their business or even to see, you know, what they're discharging from their business. Uh, that's probably the most uh, common or most uh, popular three uh, 
that we do for the rental program and, and rent units. So uh, there's lots of other times, you know, basically we can rent, you know, whatever you need for whenever you need it. So uh, I'll give it back to Sue here. So. Thank you, Jeff. And with that, let's look at some of the advantages of renting versus buying. Our first advantage here eliminates the need to set aside funding for equipment maintenance. Um, again, with our equipment, if you do have a failure or there's any type of maintenance issue, we're going to send you out a replacement unit within 24 hours of that happening. Number two here, we look at the elimination of the need for you to get a capital expenditure approved for the purchase of equipment because we know what kind of red tape is involved sometimes with the company involved in buying equipment for your facility. Bullet three here, always have access to the latest and greatest equipment. All of our equipment is going to have the latest firmware and software installed. So you're gonna have the most current equipment available. Rentals also hope uh, avoid you paying extra costs for storage fees if you own your own equipment and maybe only use your equipment once a year. You don't have to spend any extra storage costs or space in keeping that at your facility site. Uh, we also It also allows for the flexibility in selecting the most appropriate unit for a specific application. You may own a piece of equipment, but maybe that piece of equipment isn't exactly what you're gonna need for your upcoming project and we can send you a piece of equipment that may be better suited for that application. And of course, you don't have the uh, asset depreciation of owning a piece of equipment. And of course, one of the biggest benefits of rentals, especially if you're hesitant to make a big purchase, you can always try it before you buy it. Let's look at some of the reasons why a rental makes sense. Number one, subsidizing existing equipment. Maybe you have an upcoming project and you need three units, but you only own one. You don't want to go to the expense of buying a couple more units. Give me a call. We'll get you a couple of units on the road. Again, I think we talked about the time, uh, how quickly we can ship if you can't wait for a company's formal purchasing process, give me a call. We can usually ship a rental out within 24 to 48 hours. What items do we have available for rental? We pretty much rent everything that we sell, including our flow meter line, our new Dura tracker systems, our signature systems, and our 2100 series flow monitors are all available. We rent uh, both portable and portable refrigerated samplers, including the new Blizzard refrigerated, portable refrigerated sampler, and our 6712 top of the line samplers, and our little GLS samplers, which are probably one of the more popular units just because they are so easy to program and simple to use, lightweight, easy to transport. We also rent all of our rain gauges. You can rent a rain gauge as a standalone rain gauge, or you can hook it up to a sampler and do some rain-based sampling if you have a need for that for stormwater monitoring. In addition to the equipment itself, we have all of our cellular modules available for rent. Uh, the slide shows 2105CI and 2103CI, but we do also rent our signature and Dura tracker cell modems as well and as well our sampler modems for our 6712CI. In addition, all of the hardware that we offer is available for rental. Street level bands, street level, I'm sorry, street level installation equipment, scissor bands, spring rings, suspension equipment, as well as our Flowlink and our Flowlink Cypher, which is our new cloud-based software for you to easily um, obtain your flow data and read it and manipulate your data and whatever you need to do with your software. So who do you contact for quotes and rentals? I would be your first point of contact. 
I am Sue Soulier. This is my email address. You can reach me on the 800 number at extension 3052. Or if I am unavailable, my coordinator, backup coordinator is Mike Nolwitt, and this is his email address. Email address. The uh, local representatives are also um, able to do rental quotes or most of the offices are available to do rental quotes, they may refer you to me, to me, but a lot of them do um, offer quoting as well if you want to contact your local representative. Or you can request a quotation online uh, at our www.teledynesco.com site. There should be an easy to follow link to request a quote from the main page of the website. If you can't find that, just give me a call. Let's go over a few items covered in the rental contract itself. Um, the rental contract is governed by our standard term, terms and conditions of a sale. Uh, most importantly, all payments are due net 30, or if you're not set up on open accounts on net 30, we do accept credit credit card terms. Uh, the, the contract will cover inbound and outbound shipping and handling charges, that those are the responsibility of the customer, and that we do request that you carry insurance on the rental equipment during the time of the rental and during the tra transit time of the equipment to your site. As I said before, we have two terms of payment available, credit card for new customers needing expedited shipping and maybe don't have time to wait to establish and fill out a credit application or for existing customers, we do have open account terms available or for those customers wanting to establish credit. Let's look at the time frames we offer. The minimum rental is one week. We do not offer a daily rate. Um, so the minimum is one week or seven working days. We rent all the way up to 36 months, but at that six month point, I'm going to probably tell you to also look at a purchase option. Because about that six month is that break even point where yeah, you're pretty close to owning the equipment anyway. Uh, transit time is not included in the rental term period. So if you are running it for one week, that is a seven day week. It may take me three or four days to get it to you and it may take three or four days for you to return it to me, but that transit time is not included in your seven day or four week or whatever term you are running the equipment for. It is very easy to extend your rental if you find you need the equipment longer. Just give me a call. Tell me how much longer you need the equipment and we will get you set up with a rental extension. Like I said, the minimum is a one week rental. There are price breaks starting at even the two week marks. We got a two to four week rate, a four to seven week rate, an eight to 11 week rate and at the three months time frame, you're looking at a monthly rate. Um, anything beyond eight weeks, you can opt to pay monthly rather than one lump sum, or if you prefer, we can bill you in one lump sum. We do offer multi-unit discounting. Typically that's at the three to five unit um, ordering rate. So if you need anything more than you know, three units, we can look at uh, multi-unit discounting. On the freight, that outgoing freight is added to your first payment and the return freight then is on the responsibility of the renter. So you'll have to figure out how to get it to UPS or FedEx to get it returned to us at your cost. Let's go over some of the shipping details. I already mentioned that the travel time is not included in the rental time frame. Um, if you have any other questions on that, let me know. Uh, we do have expedited shipping available at the customer's expense. So if you need it 
overnighted, two day there, three day there to get to you on a specific date. You can do that. Just know you are going to pay up front. If you have a freight account with your company, a lot of times you're going to get a better rate because you're going to get a discount using your own freight account rather than me charging you whatever list price for that ship method is that day. And again, outgoing freight charges are added to that first rental payment if you're not using your own account. For shipping, return. You're, again, responsible for the return freight. And with the box, there will be an envelope marked important documents. In that envelope will be some return address labels. They're not prepaid return address labels. They are just address labels. They will reference the lease number, which we use as a return number so that it safely gets back to the rental department. Be sure to keep all of your boxes and packing materials for return shipment so that it comes back safely. And typically that return time frame, I usually allow for about one week from your, the end date of your rental. I figure you might need an extra day to clean it. It's gonna take two or three days on the road. So if you if I don't see it returned within one week, you're probably gonna get a call. And at this time, we'll open this up for questions. Well, thank you, Sue, for sharing your expertise. And, um, Please submit all of your questions through the Q&A function, and Sue would be happy to answer. With that, I will open it up to Sue. Good morning, everybody. This is Sue. And um, I apologize in advance. This is my very first webinar, so I'm going to try to navigate these screens as best I can. But our first question here from Will says, can or will these units be pre-programmed for our need when they are shipped? No, we do not pre-program the units for whatever your study is. You need to do that in the field. Um, if you need any help with training or installation or startup, we do have reps in your area to locate the local rep in your area to get a quote for any kind of installation. You can go to our website and there's a quick link on there right on the homepage for find your rep. And that's just our www.teledyneisco.com website. So just go there, click on the find your rep. All you do, need to do is type in your zip code and it will bring up your local representative. So if you need any help with startup, give them a call. Um, next question is from Internet Wireless Service is included in the rental. Uh, at the wireless devices and the Internet devices, I'm assuming you're talking about the cellular equipment. Um, that is additional. There is an additional cost for the uh, cellular devices. And I hope I'm, ask, I'm answering what you're, <laughs> what you're asking there. Um, I was going to have a tech online with us. I don't know if Jeff was able to join us. He wasn't feeling well this morning. But if I'm not covering your question exactly right, please feel free to contact our EPS Environmental Product Support Department, and they'll help you out. Can you rent just a flow meter if you already own a sampler? Absolutely. Um, yeah, if you have a 6712 and you just need a plug-in flow module or if you need an entire flow meter, we can get you the cables and what you need to hook up to a flow meter. If it's not a NISCO sampler, we can get you interface cables so that our flow meter will communicate with your sampler as well. Uh, someone's asking about the additional cost for posting data to the internet. Um, with the new Cypher, there is a, a uh, the web-based software, there is a fee um, to access that. It's a pretty minimal fee just to get on that cloud-based software and look at your data, but there is a fee involved, but we will get you all of the uh, information on how to hook up to your specific site so you can see your data. Um, another thing I 
didn't really cover was um, I was going to say that with like a sampler rental, what we do is like a package deal where if you want to rent a sampler, it's going to come with um, bottles, hoses, power supplies, um, everything you need for that rental. At the end of that rental, you're going to keep your bottles and hoses because we never reuse um, bottles or hoses. We don't try to clean them. You're going to get brand new ones every, one, every time. We don't want to risk any cross-contamination issues. If you want to clean and reuse those bottles, the next time you rent the sampler from us, you'll get it for a cheaper rate because you already have those items in your inventory. So I wanted to cover that. Um, well, I also wanted to cover that we do not rent currently internationally. I didn't go over that. Um, and I think that's um, about it. I don't see any other questions popping up. With that, Sharon, do you have anything to add? Um. No, um, I wanted to share, though, um, yesterday uh, we just made available on our website iRent, and that will provide you um, quick access to receiving a quote. All you need to do is log in to teledynesco.com uh, and select the water uh, depart. Uh, department and then your first selection is I rent. Um, so if you do have a rental need, please do utilize this. Uh, let's see, uh, Sue, um, I think, um, Sue, it looks like there's one more question that was submitted. We, uh, oh. Uh, I think John was just helping out there with, uh, I see John posted that February 1st, we can provide cellular service and this becomes available. Yeah. Um, what country as available for rental equipment? Um, right now we just do the, the U.S. Um, it, the reason we don't rent internationally is the taxes, duties, and fees involved is sometimes more expensive than what it is to even purchase the equipment. Getting it back and forth is just an astronomical fee. So currently it's just the U.S. Okay, thanks, Sue, for explaining that. And, you know, after you stated that, that is absolutely right. Um, the custom and duties can be very steep uh, to bring the equipment back and forth. So with that, Sue, thank you so much uh, for sharing um, this opportunity um, to anyone out there um, that might need our um, rental uh, department. And I would like to thank you all for joining us today.